Making inroads. A surge in investment and research in recent years has helped bring down the price of electric cars and make them more accessible to the average consumer. The European Commission predicts the number of electric vehicles, or EVs, will rise tenfold to 200 million globally by 2028. Demand for EV batteries is also projected to reach $133.5 billion by 2027, with an annual growth rate of 18%. And Finland is taking the driver's seat to cash in on this shift. The Nordic country's bedrock contains all the major minerals needed to make electric batteries, like lithium, cobalt, and nickel. The Terrafame mine in central Finland is the EU's largest source of nickel. It plans to open a $284 million refinery next year that will produce enough material to power more than one million electric vehicles. We, we are very uh, sure that, that, that if looking the next uh, 20 years, 30 years, it's a safe bet. Uh, these technologies, which are based on, on, on lithium-ion batteries in, in EVs, is, is a winning uh, technology for the next uh, two to three decades at least. The Finnish government has pledged $353 million in stimulus to help create a battery cluster. But this increased activity in some of the country's most diverse and pristine ecosystems has also caused concern. There are seven new excavation sites underway, and four new prospecting permits have been issued since May. They're centered around the northern Lapland region and Lake Saima, which is Europe's fourth largest freshwater system. The Terrafame mine, previously known as Talvivara, was itself the site of an ecological disaster in 2012 when uranium and other toxic metals leaked into the local waterways. We need these minerals now, but I don't know if we'll still need them in 15 years. What will the technology be like then? It's betting on the technology of the future, and from our understanding of this mine, you can't produce these products in an environmentally responsible way. Both the government and industry insist their technology and regulations have improved, and that sustainability is now their competitive advantage over other countries. Terrafame says it's developed mining methods that have a 60% smaller carbon footprint than traditional practices. Companies are also looking at ways to recycle the mineral resources as they become more scarce, ensuring the environment benefits beyond the car's battery life. Miranda Lynn, TRT World.